niggas, you fucking dummy. You dumb. We all niggas. You fucking dummy. We all niggas. You fucking idiot. DJ Penn. <laughs> News tonight, former UFC champ and Hilo native BJ Penn was arrested on the Big Island for driving while intoxicated. It happened on Saturday afternoon in Honoka'a when police responded to a reckless driving call. This is video KITV4 received permission to use tonight. Witnesses told HPD that Penn was talking loudly to employees on a business property before driving off in a reckless manner. He later came back to the area where police arrested him for a DUI. Pin was later released pending investigation. Hilo's BJ Penn is back in the headlines. The UFC Hall of Famer's ex-girlfriend has a temporary restraining order against him. A family court judge in Hawaii first granted the TRO last October after accusations from Penn's former girlfriend of verbal, physical and sexual abuse during their 10-year relationship. Then in February, the protective order was extended. The court order was the top story today on a popular MMA website. In court documents, the alleged victim wrote that the 40-year-old threatened her and her mother in front of the couple's two children. She alleged, quote, BJ threatened that he was going to kill my brother, that he could kill my whole family. Because you're not a man, you think you can't get knocked the fuck out? I'm going to kick your dumb cunt ass out of the house, you cunts. We believe that these values resonate with the majority of Hawaii's voters. Her written statement included accusations that Penn hit her on the head and tried to get her to smoke marijuana. She also accused him of using cocaine while around their family and being a drug addict since he was 14 years old. BJ Penn's legal issues are getting worse. He's under an active police investigation after allegedly threatening a taro farmer with a machete in a dispute over trespassing. Police released an all-points bulletin stating that Penn was wanted by police, accused of first-degree terroristic threatening, a Class C felony, punishable by up to five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Maui police have finally released mixed martial arts fighter BJ Penn's mugshot, and here it is. Police say on Saturday night, Penn and a 37-year-old Kahului man were arguing outside a bar in Kihei. The fight turned physical. The man was hurt and taken to Maui Memorial Medical Center. He was treated and released. Penn was arrested. Oh my God, it's a brutal, horrible strip club fight. Hawaiian style. Starring UFC Hall of Famer BJ Penn and co-starring that poor bastard underneath him. So there's a club called uh, Club Femme Nu in Honolulu where BJ Penn was apparently acting very, very drunk and was asked to leave. That didn't sit too well with BJ who grabbed one of the door guys, pinned him down, arm to the face. BJ ain't letting up. The manager calls cops. Officers are informed that... BJ Penn is back there trying to fight everybody. No weapon. No weapon? Dude is the weapon! <laughs>
Cleveland police confirmed they've opened a driving under the influence investigation connected to the crash that involved former MMA champ BJ Penn. Max Rodriguez spoke to the captain leading the investigation. Former UFC champion BJ Penn is under investigation following a car crash Friday where police say he hit two poles in Hilo. BJ Penn! But uh, obviously BJ Penn, a huge factor this year. Um, do you think he will help the party or, or hurt the party? What I would say about that is it's a fresh look and BJ Penn stepping up to run for governor has been, uh, for a lot of people, whether it be candidates or volunteers, they're saying, you know what, if BJ can, you know, can step up, if he can stand up and say, you know, let's change this system without any history or background in politics, I think that's kind of encouraging and hopeful for a lot of people. We have a, a bunch of different types of people who are non-typical candidates, a little out of the box, but they're eager, they're ready to learn, and they're um, they're ready to go toe to toe, you know, with the Democrat opponents. So, um, so I think what you're going to see and what we've seen in recruiting candidates is that these candidates, whether on the top of the ticket as, uh, as gubernatorial candidates, down to our local races uh, such as um, House of Representatives or uh, in the uh, state Senate, is that from the Republican side, you have experienced people in life, whether they're uh, teachers, we have uh, people in you know, the police, we have, um, we have retirees, we have young uh, folks uh, you know, out of college and... Um... We are looking for good men and women to stand with us and stand for the cause of putting the people of Hawaii first. So let's take a look at who's stepping up so far. We have experienced and diverse people who are the pillars within our communities. I decided to run for governor, they've been trying to come after me. But no matter what they dig up, no matter what they try to find, what they make up, what they invent, I know who I am. BJ Penn's UFC career is over. UFC President Dana White told ESPN he will not offer the 40-year-old another bout in the octagon after video showed Penn fighting on the streets of the Big Island. He won't fight again. That's it? Yeah, that's it. But after what I saw uh, on that video, BJ needs to, uh, you know, he needs to focus on his personal life and get himself together. And I get off holy too. You're not the only holy here. We're all niggas. We're all niggas, you fucking dummy. You dumb. <laughs> We're all niggas. You fucking dummy. We're all niggas, you fucking idiot. I, like you, have had many moments of anger, confusion, and frustration. I am running for governor of Hawaii, and like any warrior or leader, I promise to utilize every resource at my disposal. With the chaos and uncertainty taking place locally in Hawaii and globally, I ask you to join our movement. And so we have, an, we have a goal of filling every seat with a quality candidate that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Democrats. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the, the messaging of the Hawaii Republican Party, you know, we've, we haven't been strong. Um, and over the last few election cycles, it's been a challenge. 